Hello everybody, that would be an astrological forecast for Leo sign and rising sign for August 2021. The first aspect what we will have Mercury opposing uh, Saturn, so seventh house and first house. So those ones who has uh, a relationship maybe can uh, deal, with, uh, deal with some um, relationship uh, issues. But, and it will be a quite strong topic because on the 2nd of August, Sun will opposing the seven powers. So, and also we will have here uh, Juno in Sagittarius, fifth house, which wants you to set yourself free. So maybe, you know, with fifth house, I would say that sexually freedom and you want, you know, maybe a different partner or you want to have some fun with others. So um, these uh, first two days could be quite hard uh, for, uh, for, for those who has a relationship. Also, um, you know, if you are single, uh, then now you need to um, maybe think about that what's wrong with you or you need to face with these uh, questions that maybe the problem is with you and you need to change in some way or you need to see the things differently because uh, yeah maybe there is the problem that you think um, or see the things differently than how it is. Um, 3rd of August we will have Venus in um, in your second house and it will make a trine with your 10th house. It's uh, interesting because it could be a good one, but uh, you know, with Uranus, we could have quite unexpected changes. So um, with 10th house, second house, uh, I can imagine that some of you will have a positive one, like uh, you could have new job or new opportunities in your career and uh, maybe pay rise. But uh, sadly, some of you maybe will lose your job because you know Uranus can bring you unexpected changes. Also, um, Mercury um, will make a square with Taurus, and um, you know actually it could bring you problems because you and your career will uh, be in a, a bad aspect. So somehow maybe your attitude uh, uh, can bring you problem uh, in your career. So be careful on these days. Uh, 6th of August, Sun uh, also make a square. Um, so again, uh, the same uh, houses. Yeah, so sun, and you know, Sun uh, in, 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 in Leo is at home. So maybe I can imagine that, however, the Sun is good here, but uh, uh, Uranus bring uh, unexpected changes and it's a square, so not a good aspect. I can imagine that uh, sadly, uh, maybe you could be the problem uh, or you could be who, who shining too much or too lazy or acting how you shouldn't acting or you will think that, oh yeah, I'm the best, I'm the, I'm the, the boss or, you know, I know it better, blah, blah, blah. And maybe this attitude can bring you a big problem. Actually, you can lose your job or you can lose an opportunity or something like this. So if you're looking for a job in this time, maybe, you know, uh, be uh, confident, but, uh, uh, you know, see what you see or how you see, because uh, it could bring you problem. Uh, 8th of uh, um, uh, August, we will have a new moon and it, this new moon will be in your house, so in Leo. And uh, it's good because, you know, you will have a new chance for a new beginning. So you can renew yourself, you can start, you know, uh, develop yourself, you can uh, uh, learn new skills or, uh, you know, you can just be like a new you. So you can discover yourself that how you can change, what you can do, and so forth. Uh, 9 of August, Venus in the second house will opposing 8th house. It's not a good one. Actually, it could bring you uh, quite a lot of uh, um, financial problems. You know, with Neptune, you will uh, dreamy or you will not see clear. And with Venus, you can spend more than how much you should could. Uh, yeah, be careful. I would say that in these, day, these days, you should more likely save instead of spending uh, your money, uh, especially if you uh, maybe sadly lose your job or you have problems in your career. Uh, 10th, of, 10th of August, Mercury opposing Jupiter, one, uh, first house, seventh house. 
uh, it is the time when you could have arguments uh, in your relationship. Uh, be careful what you say, how you say. Uh, um, yeah. 11th of August, Mercury will change sign. So, however, you will have not the not so good days till 11th of uh, uh, August. Now, uh, good chances are coming, especially in uh, financially, because uh, Virgo ruled by Mercury and Mercury will be in um, your second house, which is Virgo. So you will have a great opportunities to make money, to use your skills. Uh, also, you know, everything can develop easily. You can use your brain very well. Uh, you can uh, make money well, or you could have really great ideas in uh, these days. And it will be here, it will be so um, just for two, three weeks. So enjoy these two, three weeks and use your ideas. On the same day, Venus in Virgo makes a uh, trine with uh, Jupiter. So again, be careful with the money. So even if you have good ideas, be careful what you spend, how you spend. On 16th of August, uh, Venus will move to Libra. Libra uh, ruled by Venus, so it will be happy here. And the uh, third house is helping you in communication. Now, you have Mercury, which is uh, bring you great idea and you can be good in financially. And now uh, you have a great uh, uh, communication skill, so you can beautifully communicate. You can actually, you can reach whatever you want. So you just need to invest in, in it your energy. Uh, 18 of August, uh, Mercury can uh, make, it will make a conjunction with uh, Mars. It is the time when you can maybe spend too much or when you can make a uh, really high success uh, financially. 19 of August, um, uh, Uranus will turn to retrograde. Uranus, which made you uh, problems, unexpected problems in your career, we are turned to that already, and now you will have a chance to sort those out. So if you uh, um, have uh, have had any argument or lo lost your job, now uh, um, energies are turning back, and now you have good opportunities. Twenty of August, uh, tenth house, second house, uh, trying uh, so now uh, in the career and in money uh, area, you could have a chance to sort out the things. So you could have better job, pay rise and so forth. Or if you made any mistakes, again, you have a chance to sort it out. On the 22nd of August, now um, full moon will happening in your seventh house, so relationship. Uh, I said already that you could have relationship problems. Now you really need to focus for these problems. And, uh, you know, don't make an argument, try to keep it peace uh, and see a bit more clearly that what is wrong. Same day, Sun will move to the second house. Uh, so it is also help you to uh, organize by your financial things and make, uh, you know, to make more money um, and, you know, see how you can make more money. Uh, 23rd of August, um, Li uh, Venus will move to Libra, which is your third house. Uh, actually, it is already here, sorry. It's make a trine uh, uh, with uh, your seventh house. So somehow, uh, if you had problem in your relationship, now you will have a chance to, um, you know, sort it out. Maybe you can have a nice conversation with your partner because you could, you know, communicate more nicely. You could be, you know, like communicate more beautifully and now you can uh, sort out the problems. 24th of August, Mercury in Virgo opposing Neptune in 8th house. This is the time when you will feel like that, oh my god, I know everything, I know what I do, I, I, you know, I manage everything well, I spend the money well, everything like this. But somehow you will not. So you will think that your brain is working 100% sure, that, but you will be too dreamy. You will not see clearly. So you can make a bad investment or uh, you can make any trouble or you can sign a paper in the bank, but you shouldn't. So don't make any financially uh, uh, radical changes uh, in these days. On 26th of August, Mercury in Virgo make a trine uh, with Pluto in 6th house. So uh, it could bring a difficulty for you again financially and from the workplace. Uh, yeah, be careful with it. 
And the last one, uh, Mercury will move to the third house uh, in the 30th of August. It's a good one because it could help you for your communication to make more beautiful, but also make uh, more clever. So things can go quite great in communication way for you. You know, third house is uh, about communication too. So now the stronger skill, what you could use uh, is uh, your communication skills. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you will have a lovely August. Bye bye.